center stage at the United Nations General Assembly today. Iran and Egypt's president spoke today and received a much different reception than President Obama received yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett live on the east side. N.J. And Dave, by our count, at least a third of the delegations boycotted the Iranian president today. This time, Ahmadinejad made no attempt to defend his nation's nuclear program. In fact, oddly enough, he didn't even mention it. But he did speak of the military confrontation that could result from it. Hundreds of demonstrators took to the streets outside the United Nations as the president of Iran stepped to the podium. I thank the Almighty God for having once more the chance to participate in this meeting. In his final address to the UN General Assembly, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad insisted that no one will feel safe as long as Iranians are threatened. Continued threat by the uncivilized Zionists to resort to military action against our great nation is a clear example of this bitter reality. No one feels secure or safe, even those who have stockpiled thousands of atomic bombs and other arms in their arsenals. As is his practice, the Iranian president used the word Zionist to describe Israel and its supporters and claimed the world would be a better place if Israel did not exist and if Zionists did not, as he suggested, control global media. Fewer delegations walked out on Ahmadinejad this year, perhaps because fewer showed up. Both the Israelis and the Americans were among at least a third of the nations that boycotted the speech. We've seen Mr. Ahmadinejad once again use his trip to the UN not to address the legitimate aspirations of the Iranian people, said a spokeswoman for the U.S. delegation, but to instead spout paranoiac theories and repulsive slurs against Israel. End quote. Demonstrators say it's proof that Ahmadinejad should have been denied the opportunity to speak here. We think it's important that everyday New Yorkers let him know how they feel about his presence and let him know that he's unwelcome. Now, the speech that made headlines here today was made by the new democratically elected president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi, called for immediate serious movement, as he put it, on the Israeli-Palestinian dispute. He said the bloodshed in Syria must end, and he condemned the crude anti-Islam video, declaring that there should be limits to freedom of speech. Controversial, yes, but he got a better reception than the president of the Islamic Republic of Iran today. Live tonight at the UN and Jay Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And Jay, thank you. Now to vote 2012. All eyes are on Ohio.